Alright guys, back on the video and this time we're going to be going over the new revamped leader from set 9. Gohan, attack, take a life, or two, re-stand, attack again, if you want. Then you get to, when you get to three, le three or less life, draw two and untap an energy. And then on the back side it has crazy ability. And then I will go into detail why this is pretty crazy. This card attacks, draw a card, not once turn. Activate battle during your turn. Once per turn, you can take a card from your life, throw it in your drop area, and then gain 10,000 power and triple strike for duration of the turn. Then an activate main. If, if you can restand this card, and if you don't end the game this turn on your own terms, the game ends anyways and you lose. Pretty crazy leader. It's green. It has a Goku on the back. It's also a Saiyan, obviously. And it has pretty interesting like synergy with other cards we already have. And great job with this revamp leader bandai. So, this is a very interesting take, in my opinion, on how I would play the deck or how I would go about it. Um, the leader, in general, is just a powerful card, so you can win other ways, and just having generically good cards in your deck will help you win. Um, we're we're going to go with how I build decks. So, first things first, we got your four Senzu Bean, obvious staple, <laughs> but honestly, you could go without blue in this deck and the deck be fine but I feel like the deck needed some more untap and a little more pressure because you're trying to really end the game and Bean just goes up well with the untap leader like the resetting and then getting extra attacks and stuff pretty powerful and allows you to like maintain higher combo power and end the game easier and the other blue card we go along with it is a charge card is West Kai keep in watch if your opponent feels like they can cry back at you and end the game and they combo all out you could probably save yourself with West Kai's which is pretty decent okay so and we got another blue card just technically blue green since our leader is green we are allowed to play hidden potential and we already have red green energies if you haven't realized most of the deck is red green and you will have the green energy because your first two charges in this deck should be a duel and then a burly demonic origin so you can get your your uh Chi Chi online, but you can go red, green, charge, then charge blue, depending on the matchup and who's going first and what you're trying to do in that matchup. So it makes it a little more versatile. So your leader on the back side is Goku. That's, some, that's something very important to note. And so you get access to Fika Mea Mea Wave. This card gains 15,000, and your leader gains 15,000 power and critical, along with your triple strike, which is pretty crazy. You can knock them from 5 to 2 pretty easily, or 6 to 3, however you want to look at it. Very easily go 40k with one combo card on your leader. It's pretty crazy and something to look out for. But a lot of times, uh, the way this deck plays out, you're going to have them... You're basically going to be edging them from 4 to 3 the entire game because they're going to try the hardest not to get to 3 life. So knocking them from 5 to 3 with a double striker, which would be cheap would be your SSB Gogeta and it's also removal and when you play it and kill something you can play Surprise Attack Frieza this is a good card in general and since we're playing the duels we obviously play your check lands and rats this, these are staples in every red green deck at four in my opinion or at least three rats you could make an argument for going three if you're playing four Nappa but we're only playing two Nappa the new super combo if you don't know what he does uh, he's a 10,000 power obviously combo super combo at any life and then he comes into play after the battle. So you, you get to use him twice, and he also is, helps you arrival in your Kaioken and your SSB Gogeta. So, cool thing about the Kaioken leader, he, I'm sorry, Kaioken um, battle guard here, he is your turn to play in most cases and will help you in the game with double strike, dual attack by taking a life going down to three. And then your leader doesn't have to necessarily. Like, for example, say if you can attack with your leader, after that, take a life, awaken, because he, he restands as soon as you take a life, and then you awaken, and that same attack, crit a life, if they allow you to go to damage, triple strike, and then you can attack again two more times for triple strike, and if you are really trying to end the game, and then you already had a dual attack double striker, so this will help you end the game really easily, and you go all the way to, down to one life. But... You have to be careful with that, but you can 
rely on focus breakthrough to and then you don't have to use this card but it's, it's just very interesting how you can go and negate topos with this and you don't this deck doesn't really rely on anything to win in the main deck it's just like extra support cards free combo power and draw cards from Chi Chi and Paragus helping you dig through your deck and feed Kamehameha Wave making your leader critical triple strike pretty powerful you have some removal in Vegeta the Cruel and Overrealm for making your leader even bigger with Dark Temptation Toa making your opponent discard a card then you have the in combination with Kaioken you have your Piccolo special wing cannons uh, this card will just do a lot of things for you make uh, kill, a, kill a card make your opponent discard two cards Play for surprise attack, freeze it afterwards. Give you a lot of extra pressure. So dual attack, double strike, kill it. Attack for 20k. Make them make your opponent discard two cards. Get rid of a blocker or something. Play for surprise attack, freeze it. Uh, go into battle, bean, bean on your leader. Super combo. This into play. Uh, over. I mean, sorry, arrival in this kill something it's just like there's a lot of plays and I just played some generically good cards in the sense that topo is just a good card so if, if any questions about this deck and how it should play this just it changes probably every game you in every matchup and going first or second depending on what you draw obviously and then this card Raditz you can actually play it for four on your kill turn uh, if you really want to take it slower with your leader if your opponent's not interacting with you and you feel like they're playing a lot of like interaction for your leaders that negates and they're negating a lot of your attacks and stuff like that you can wait until they get to that point like i said earlier where you take a life and restand and get triple strike three attacks but you can play raditz look at their hand see if you can out combo or what you and then calculate better what you can combo and see what you can do with that but it's it's very tricky because if you don't hold your awaken to you play this card you would have to probably play it in turn five and that's not what you really want to do here with this card but for the most part it's just a free 5k because you're gonna have a duel but yeah so if you like this deck profile and you want to see more content like this also i got a little bit of inspiration for this deck from the pvg uh channel i did see the one from the australian guy he posted but his build was blue green this is technically blue green but it's mainly red green plus splash blue so i wouldn't say that i took a lot of his ideas but i did take the fika Mayo. i forgot i mean i didn't forget but i i just can't remember for sure if it said on the back that it was goku but this is important for that and surprise that frieza this probably could be something else but in this deck specifically or cited out a lot but it's pretty good at having a free attacker dark temptation toa should be an obvious card in the deck but i did remember to put it in specifically because it's good for this deck and the way it plays he was playing four copies and two mira Dif a little different you can play this deck differently he had further instructions and like extra awakening cards i didn't think i didn't really like that idea but if you like those ideas you can try them as well the uh attack take a life can create either the red or green one it doesn't matter or you can test out the blue green build like his but this leader is really cool and i, w I can't wait to try it out and I feel like there's a lot of different ways to go about it. You could probably even go yellow blue and just play like a a slow roll with good stuff leader. And you were playing you ha you have if you splash green, you have access to Vegeta Cool in that deck and hidden potential. So this leader may be one of the best leaders in the entire set, if not the best, like he said. And I I think this leader has a lot of potential because three triple strike attacks is nothing to play with, especially when it's 25k minimum. And then if you pump it up with Dark Temptation Toa and Sons of Bean, that le that leader swing is going to be really, really powerful. Plus, if it Feet Kamehameha being a free 15, oh, one cost 15k crit punch. But if you like this deck profile and you want to see more content, especially set 9 stuff and set 10 and on, and a new Dropbox 5 will be coming out soon, please smash that like button and comment below what you liked about this deck and what you think should be changed, if anything should be changed. And please try it out. And if you like any of the decks that I post, please comment below and then or PM me and I really like to get those messages and comments telling you like the deck or you play the deck and you won your local and I'm, it really inspires me to continue to make videos and I appreciate you guys using shamrosslayer.com to make video uh, deck profiles just like I do here. Deuces.